Well, I think in any community, uh, reliability, resilience is, is important, but it's even more important for us. Markham is known as Canada's high-tech capital. Uh, we have over 1,000 high-tech and life sciences companies located uh, in our city. So infrastructure of all kinds is, is very important, but certainly uh, reliability of, of energy, the resilience of our energy system is, is key and actually was uh, something that uh, we gave a lot of thought to after an ice storm back in 1998 that, that impacted uh, certainly a large part of the eastern part of our province and into the province of Quebec and uh, recognizing at the time that, that we were subject to weather conditions that would impact and, and bring down uh, energy for a number of days. And so that's when we really started to, to look at district energy. And then, um, like any district energy system, you need an anchor tenant. And the IBM Software Lab really became the anchor tenant for us that, that began uh, the opportunity for us to begin to implement district energy in our community. Uh, we're developing a, a downtown core in Markham, uh, where eventually uh, 40,000 people will, will live there. Another 40,000 people will come to work there. And so uh, we have a density in the area, which makes the district energy system viable. And uh, it's really been a selling feature. It certainly was for the IBM software lab. Uh, but since that time, we, we've had a, another uh, data bank uh, come into Markham Center because of the district energy system that's there, data center. Uh, we managed to attract a, a Pan Am facility, which was a major venue during the 2015 uh, Pan Am Games. Uh, we also have uh, Aviva Insurance, uh, which is coming into Markham Center, over 1,500 employees. So when you have the, the type of development, the type of density that we have in Markham Center, it's a great fit for a district energy system because you have so much floor space in a very concentrated area. And then because it's a concentrated area, there's a lot of, uh, I, I think, incentives for developers and, and even institutions like York University to be able to hook up to our district energy system and not have to provide that infrastructure on each property that's being developed. So there's certainly, uh, you know, centralizing your heating and cooling through a district energy system makes a lot of sense. Uh, economically and certainly a better utilization of, of infrastructure rather than everyone having their own individual systems and ultimately it's better for the environment as well. In our case our district energy system is owned 100 percent by the city of Markham so there's that uh, certainly initially the credibility of uh, an organization that was first starting up and now, because they have a great track record on their reliability, and uh, since its inception, we did have an ice storm in our community in, in 2013. And so people you know, certainly saw the benefit of having that system uh, continuing to, to operate while, uh, while others uh, had to deal with the effects of the ice storm. So I'm smiling a little bit because it's 100% owned by the city of Markham, while developers are, are not required to hook up, uh, we certainly uh, funnel them towards, uh, you know, hooking up. And I, and I think, quite honestly, now that the, the system has been there, it's been reliable, people are seeing the benefits of it, uh, it it's not a hard sell. And, uh, yeah, we've been very fortunate in that we've not only had 100% hookup with new buildings, but we've actually gone back and, and made the business case and retrofitted existing buildings, one being a major hotel and convention center uh, that we uh, now have hooked up to the system. Many years ago, and you, you saw this slogan everywhere, think globally, act locally. And I think for, for many people, even though they said it, the, the ability to fight uh, climate change, the ability to improve the environment seemed like a big task. And I think taking it down to the community level where we are in fact, yeah, we're gonna change the world, but we're gonna change our community first. How do we do things? How can we improve our environment? And, and in Markham, we have a sustainability plan called Green Print, where our goal by 2050 is to be net zero in waste, water, and energy. 
And it's ambitious, but I believe it's achievable. And uh, you know, I think we've demonstrated with the many initiatives that we have and more to come that we're gonna get there. And I think it's about improving the quality of life in the community in which you live. And if everyone does that collectively, we are going to, we are going to improve the world.